when I ever get res uh, requests from teachers asking about a certain website, the first thing I ask about is, have you looked at the terms of service of the website and the privacy policy? How are you protecting the student's privacy using that, that uh, resource or that, that app, if you will? And uh, a lot of people are like, well, I, I, how am I going to send home, you know, if I send home uh, sheets of paper for kids to sign, they're never going to get it back or whatnot. And so what I've done is I've created a Google form. Uh, and if you if you request something from me in regards to that, I can send this consent form to you. All you do is simply click on this uh, link that I provide, and it's a, a Google form that I've created. It's in my Google Drive, but when uh, I've got it configured, when you click on that, it'll ask you to make a copy. Uh, it, it'll take a little bit for it to do, but what it's going to do is it's going to make a copy of that Google form, a duplicate of it and put it in your Google Drive so you can uh, adjust this how you see fit. And all this is is a parental consent for apps. It's very easy. Uh, it describes exactly what you're doing. Uh, it asks for the student's name. It defines which, and I, I have a couple of example apps in here like Zoom, Flipgrid, and Seesaw. You can add to your own if you want to, uh, if you want to add your own app to this. Uh, check with your administrator first, uh, or and or curriculum director, and then you know duplicate this. Add your own narrative. And where I got these narratives is from the Apple App Store because it explains what it is. And then I went to the actual websites of these and got the either the terms of service and the privacy policy uh, or both. If you don't need uh, a certain app, you simply can just delete it out, and it removes that question, so to speak. Uh, at the bottom, you've got the short answer text for uh, parents to sign their name. And then you've got your verifiable parental consent. How do you know that it's getting to the actual parent? If I click on send up here in the upper right, I'm going to click on this link and make a copy of this. Uh, all you'll need to do then is go into Infinite Campus Messenger, paste that link, explain what you're doing, and send that off. And the parents, the head of households, or the guardians will get that and will be able to answer it even from their, uh, their smartphone. And last but not least, what do you do when the parents have responded or you want to check to see who's responded? You can go into responses up here, up in the uh, top portion of the form. And right now, no one has responded. However, they would, they would show up in this, uh, this format here. Uh, and then if you want to see a nice spreadsheet that you would just create a spreadsheet for that that too will show up in your Google Drive and you're the owner of that that's all I've got for now if you have any further questions regarding this please reach out to me as always if you like this please hit the thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button that way when I push out more content for remote learning resources and everything else you'll be the first to know have a great rest of the day